created a lot of work for himself, but let me just tell you what he does. He takes ages and he separates them down so it removes distraction. He separates the girls from the boys. And he's found a way that creates more work for him, but that is more effective than ministry. And those summer camps will have five or six, three, four, five, six, maybe up to ten people. It's not about the number, but it's about the impact. You can have a group of 20 or 25 kids, but if there's great distraction, many of those kids don't learn. And so don't despise small beginnings, small groups. And so we believe that God's doing great things there. We have another missionary, Les Yvonne, that's down at Vineland, the only evangelical church on the Millax Reservation. Uh, Steve and Alice uh, is, a, is a missionary couple that's coming on uh, from Net Lake, the Boys Fort Reservation. Uh, Kenny and I have known Kenny, and I was looking today, I was like, what's Kenny's wife's name? I've got to go find out. Uh, but Kenny and his wife were up in War Road, All Nations Church. But they also, now let me just share this with you, I'll just quote. Uh, a statement from him, but they serve in two areas on Lake of the Woods in native ministry. They've served in the Northwest Angle, and then they serve in the Wendigo Island Reserves on the Lake of the Woods. Kenny asked me, he says, is it okay if we turn in ministry receipts for boat parts and, and snowmobile parts? I'm like, I think we can approve that. We'll have to talk to the accounting department, the business department, they'll have to make sure it's ministry. But that's how he gets to the people. He takes his boat or he takes his, his sled. And I'm looking forward to going up and doing some more. And they also serve at a church called All Nations Church there in War Road, in the community of War Road. And so a couple of these groups are new. Uh, Steve and Alice and Kenny are coming on board. They're in the application process. Of belief. We believe that God is opening the door um, for them to come in. But God is working and moving in our outreach ministry. And then build. I've already mentioned a little bit about build. And I'm going to move quick so that we can finish up here. And uh, I know you guys have had a, a busy afternoon. But build is biblical, united, indigenous leadership development. It's a mouthful. But it is ultimately taking discipleship training to the people. Sometimes people are serving and they're not able to come to a place like Mokum. Or they're not able to a place to come to like Oak Hills. Um, one of the other creative ways that Oak Hills is reaching out, a partner ministry, is our Rural Certificate Program. Thursday night, they're training uh, people who can't leave their home or their assignment, but they can do training. And so God is, is using uh, creative opportunities to train people and to disciple people. So it's taking uh, biblical training to the reservation, non-native and native teaching together. Les Parr, one of our native uh, staff members and myself taught in Rosebud in April on the Holy Spirit. We, we talked on the subject of the Holy Spirit. So 18 classes out, out of a two-year period of time, and we go for a week at a time, once a month, with a few breaks in between, and we take uh, biblical training, Bible classes, theology classes, practical theology classes to the reservation. We've been in Pine Ridge. We're finishing up this year in Rosebud, and later this year we'll be in Pine Ridge. And you talk about network, you talk about collaboration, you talk about God bringing things together. Uh, two of our Bochum students are from Rosebud. And, and we have our build program there and the students are here. Where we'll be going to Spirit Lake, which is over by Devil's Lake. Jonathan, one of our Bochum students. That's his home location. So God is bringing people together in ways that we couldn't imagine. And is excited to see what God is doing. And so I think I got all of our ministries. Did I cover them all, Jim? Hey, one, one missing thing. So whose husband just graduated from the Rural Certificate Program who's in the room? She has to stand or raise her hand. Brenda, here we go. Yes, this is we had how many? Six? Yep. Six graduates from our, if those men never set room together, they were in a Zoom room, but they, um, they came together at graduation and met for the first time. But God is further equipping and training in creative ways. You know, COVID was a killer in a lot of ways. And, and, and 
be mindful, I, and I didn't mean to be disrespectful in that, that statement, but in our churches and in schools, you know, but it has created opportunities to do things differently. And I believe that God gets the glory for that. Sometimes uh, circumstances happen and we see them as setbacks, but God can actually use them to advance his kingdom. And uh, so I'll be in the back if you've got any questions, but prayer requests, be praying for Sam Dodd and the summer camps in Panema. Be praying for Mocha Ministry Center as they are recruiting new students. Um, and just pray, pray, pray. We need your prayer. And you can reach out to Paul or myself if you've got any questions. But thank you for your time today.